Hey everybody, it's Kelly with Inky Hands One More. How are you guys? I'm so happy to be here with you again today to bring you another project. This is my little bird box on 3D Thursday, and I am so excited to share it with you. So inside I have a little Ferrero Rocher, and the box is made with the perched in a tree. So we it's just a cute way to put a little gift on a coworker's desk. It's a really simple, quick project. And I've used the Perched in a Tree bundle this whole week. And so I'm using it again. And so we're going to be using the bird die out of here and making a really fun box. We're going to be stamping this little bird and coloring it in with Stampin' Blends. So let's go ahead and get started. I am happy to be here with you and um, we're going to go ahead and start on this bird box. So you guys know when I make my boxes, we use our Simply Scored tool. So let's just get that out. I'm going to move my little bird box to the corner over here. And here is our Simply Scored. So the piece of paper, this is Sahara Sand that I'm using, um, is three and three quarters by four and a quarter. So here's the four and a quarter inch and here's the three and three quarter inch, okay? So on the short, on the long side, which is the four and a quarter, we're gonna just do two score lines at one and a quarter and at three. And on our short side, which is the three and the three quarter inch length up here, we're gonna do two score lines as well. We're gonna do at one and a quarter and at two and a half. So when you're done, you should have a grid that looks like that. Let me get my board out of the way. We're gonna burnish these. You'll be able to see it a lot. It's a lot better once I use my bone folder here and burnish on all the lines. This is a very simple, box and so we are going to go ahead and trim our ends here like like so okay so we're gonna come in from the side and I like to cut on both sides of the score mark it's just my thing you don't have to but I like to get rid of the score mark completely. And I like that amount of room that I have in there that it frees up for the paper to fold nicely. But um, some people like to cu cut right on the score mark or to the right or to the left of it. And I like to cut it away. So you have to do whatever works for you, but I like to get rid of it because I don't like the bulk that that little um, score mark gives when I'm trying to fold the cardstock. So I do trim it away and I'll show you in a minute when I'm done with this and you guys can grab a screenshot if you want. All right, so there is my piece and you can see that I have cut those score marks because you can see them. You can see my mat through them. Okay, so those are the score marks that we've cut. Okay. So now we're gonna add a little bit of he adhesive to these pieces here, and then this is gonna form the outside of our box, okay? So we're gonna go ahead, and the two outer pieces are gonna get the adhesive one over the top of the other. Just gonna get this one out of the way. And we're gonna go ahead and put adhesive here. This one's going to attach to it like that. And now this one is going to come up over the top, so I'm going to put adhesive on the back of it. There's that one. Do the same thing again, get this one out of the way. Attach this one to this one. Make sure that they are even there. And then we're gonna put adhesive on this bottom flap and then bring that up. You can see how easy this little box is. 
very simple. So we've made kind of this little holder. Now comes our bird. We've cut two out of Sahara sand of the bird dye. So there's two of them. And then I have stamped in Tuxedo Memento, Tuxedo Black ink, a bird. I'm gonna bring in this scrap piece of paper. We're gonna color him with Stampin' Blends. So I'm gonna start with Ivory. I really love this color. It's really pretty. And I'm gonna add that to the underside here. And this is the color that he is gonna be down here. It's kind of creamy and pretty. All right, so there is my ivory, okay? Then we're gonna take light crumb cake. And we're gonna do everything from under this beak, under his eye, and, and down on this section. Okay, and you can Google birds and then pick the bird you want and color your bird any way you want. It's your choice, your bird. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do there. Okay, so that's the light crumb cake. And with dark crumb cake, I'm gonna highlight these little feathers. Okay, I'm also gonna go along this whole little area here where it meets the ivory and up this side, okay? And then I'm gonna do this wing area right here. And I'm just gonna color this with the dark crumb cake. Just like that. And then I like to go over these artist lines even again with the same color and even though it is the same color when it dries you'll see a little bit of highlighting in those areas if you only cover that now with our light and dark soft suede we're going to do the head of the bird so i'm going to use the light first and i'm going to color this whole area the bird That's the light soft suede. And then with the dark, I'm gonna come in and do all of the little artist marks again. I'm gonna do kind of around the eye there. I'm gonna do the beak and his little feet. Okay. Just like that. So there is that, and I can also lighten that part near the eye by going over the top of it with the lighter suede there. All right, so there's our little bird. He looks pretty good. Now, we're going to glue him on top of one of these pieces of Sahara. And it's just because when I turn my box around, I want it to be the same so color so just the front shows the bird, but the back of him, I don't want to be white or for you to see these marks here. So I'm gonna add some wet adhesive to the back of my bird here. This is on multi-purpose glue, I use it a lot. If you watch me, I'm sure you will order it <laughs> because I use it a lot and a lot. And if you guys don't have a demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator. If you need catalogs, let me know and I would be happy to send you a catalog. All right, so there is my birdie. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and attach the bird to the front of our box. Now, I'm gonna kind of place him and hold him of where I want him to be, okay? I'm gonna grab a pencil once I have him held and I'm gonna mark there, real light, and this tail section, so I know where to put my glue, okay? So now we're gonna come back with glue. We don't wanna go too high because then it will show and we don't wanna go too low. So there's that. Now we can attach our bird 
and we will put him back onto our box where those lines are. So I'll make sure that I use those as my guide and stick this little guy, he's so cute, onto the box. So there he is on the front and you can see when you look from the back of the box, now you just see the Sahara, you don't see the basic white. So that is that. Now we're gonna attach our bird to the back and we're gonna match him. So this time I'm gonna put the lines on the inside here. And right there. And we're gonna add the adhesive on this bottom section. And just make sure that um, you know, you don't get too close to the marks. And then I'm gonna look straight down over the top and I'm gonna kind of line up my bird so that when I look, it looks like he is, I'm just gonna slide him until I have him placed and he matches. So when I look from the front, I don't see that bird in the back. It's kind of mirrored. So you just have to play with it. The glue is still, lets you move it. So um, it's hard to show you on camera, but I'm basically lining this bird up with this bird, but I have to hold it up to make sure that I can see it. And I know that you guys can't see when I do that, but that is good. And then we're gonna go ahead and put our Ferrero Rocher candy on the inside of our box. And that is our little bird box. Very quick and easy project. Like I said, it's a great little gift to put on a coworker's desk, something like that. It's really a fun project. Or a bird lover, you might have um, people that like to watch birds, maybe your parents or a friend. And it's a great little um, way to just give a token of your appreciation to them and make them a cute little bird box. All right, guys, this is Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. Um, again, the dimensions were three and three quarters by four and a quarter for the box. Um, I used basic white for the bird and um, I think it was about two and a quarter by two and a quarter inches. And I did the same in the Sahara sand, only I cut two of those, remember, so that we could have one on the back of the basic white bird and one for the back of our box. So not very much um, cardstock. We used the blends that we used were the ivory, the soft suede, and the crumb cake. And um, that's everything. I hope that you enjoyed the project and that you are considering this adorable bundle called Perched in a Tree out of the mini catalog. Um, if you don't have a demonstrator, again, I would love to be your demonstrator. All the products that I used are linked down below in the description of this video. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, share my video, even if it's to your Pinterest. Um, when you do share my video, it does allow me to um, reach more people and therefore it helps me to keep providing these free classes for you. Thanks for being here. This is Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. Happy stamping!